And out of this, a student attacked in a San Juan Unified classroom, but this was no fight between peers. The mayhem involved a mother. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp getting answers from the district on how this happened in a story you saw first on CBS 13, Ashley. Yeah, well, the victim tells me Monday's fight at San Juan High School actually followed a prior physical altercation between herself and the woman's daughter on Friday. Now, this fight happened off of school campus. The video obtained by CBS 13 shows the moment that that child's parent took matters into her own hands and into the school Monday, the victim says, in retaliation. And almost like a, like she's holding me. A frightening clash unfolding in a classroom. A junior at San Juan High School says this video shows the moment she was attacked Monday morning by a parent and multiple students. And it just happened so quick. She and her friend asked CBS 13 to conceal their identities. The victim's friend says she heard the woman in the hall and tried to stop what happened next. So I went and warned the teacher and I was like, there's an adult here on campus. Yes, an adult that's not supposed to be here. The victim now battered and bruised after a brawl that lasted two to three minutes, saying this student seen throwing punches is the woman's daughter. The mom, she shoved chairs at me and grabbed me and then she just pulled my hair and kept hitting me in the head. And I hopped on top of my friend to cover her body. The victim's mom called CBS 13 Tuesday asking for answers. Because it should have never happened. Her question, how was this woman able to get on campus? The woman should not have been able to even get to a classroom. They need more security, more fencing, campus monitors. CBS 13 took that question to the San Juan Unified School District. Leaders told us the mom slipped onto campus at school drop off right as all students were arriving for the day. So we asked, does security need to be improved? The district admitted yes, saying for all of its schools, the district is, quote, working to reduce the number of access points. The Board of Education has allocated $10 million toward improving physical safety on our campuses, and we are working to invest that funding to upgrade these key areas at schools. Oh, but for the mom of this victim, they're not keeping the kids safe. It could have been far worse. It's too little, too late. Calling now for change. San Juan USD would not confirm to CBS 13 what disciplinary actions the students involved are facing or if the mother has been banned from campus, citing student and parent privacy laws. Now, we also reached out today to the Citrus Heights Police Department for information on what charges those involved in the fight are facing. They told CBS 13 it's not yet finalized, and we'll get those answers later this week. Yeah, lots of lingering questions. Ashley, thank you.